introducing once again on the arena floor, accompanied ringside by J. T. Davidson. He represents from Anonymous, Ohio. Weighing in at 200 pounds, the Callahan Death Machine, Sammy. Main event time, Dan Barry, DC. Raw Dog. Raw Dog is going one on one with that worldwide desperado. Sammy Callahan said, Oh, I'm a little bitch, you're a little bitch, just a little bitch battle. I don't know why you were trying to. Uh, I, I, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish with a statement like that. These two are two of the most intense and aggressive individuals, and you put them in the ring together, so thank you. This looks like it's going to hurt already. I mean, last year John Silver wasn't really doing much. He asked for a match with Leo Rush. It's one of those situations. It's like, you want it, you got it. Let's see if you can deliver. And uh, the number one guy that's been on his list since then over a year has been Sammy Callahan. I've wrestled both of these men. I can tell you right now, they're both incredibly tough individuals. <laughs> Sammy just took out a glove. What a formal way. I challenge to a duel. Formal or disrespectful? I'm sorry. I don't know. It's a little bit of both. Does he know that John Silver's a bit of a hothead? Is he trying to get... Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa, wait, wait, John Silver has a glove of his own? I don't know why he would also have a glove. A duel is on! The main event has been canceled and replaced by an in-ring duel. If they pull pistols, I swear he, to God. He did. He just pulled his gun out. I just put it away. I feel like they owe me copyright money. You miss one show, Dan, and this is it, huh? This is it. <laughs> this if, is some weird mind if games. If this match ends in a death, I'm just telling you. Are no, you supposed to go back to back? Well, talk about busting out the big guns. They both knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. I call this match going to be a double 10 count. Tim, if we see a draw, I'm going to have to wrestle you to send them home happy, you know? All right, I'll get my boots on. All right, I'll put some underwear on. No rush. Sammy firing the first shot. Punched him dead in the face. The worldwide desperado. I mean, Sam McCallan certainly lives up to that nickname. Competing a pro wrestling gorilla last night. Didn't have any time to sleep. Right on a plane, right here. Somerville, Massachusetts. Not sure what John Silver's schedule's been like this weekend, but... You know for a fact that it's not nearly as aggressive as Sammy Callahan's. I think Callahan wrestled more than anybody else. WrestleMania week done in Orlando. I didn't wrestle at all. I had two matches and I did nothing. I watched Sammy Callahan do literally everything. Every show. There was nobody with as much, I guess, endurance as Sammy Callahan. Wow, look at that from John Silver. Beautiful snap headlock. Oh, nips up. Now, where have I seen this before? We had a duel. Are we going to see a truce? I don't think they've learned their lesson. Double pump kicks. Second time tonight they've both been down. I'm just saying, Drew Cordero, hope you got those, those tights of your face on them. No, I think if the match ends now, it's been a suitable main event. And I do. What do you think I'm wearing underneath? Spanx? I'm just saying we send Steve the Turtle Winer out for a run in. I don't know what happened to Turtle. Let's not talk about it. 
feel bad. Anywho, live in the action. That's how he was feeling good right now. Sammy Callahan, he loves to fight. Steve, I think referee's... Oh! The yeah. raw dog having none of it. Is there anything better than a defiant middle finger? A non-pro wrestling, apparently. Oh, shh. Low pay suicide out of Sammy Callahan. And you gotta wonder if JT Davidson is gonna be a factor in this matchup. Saw him in the back going over strategy with Sammy Callahan earlier. Oh! On his feet! He's freaking jacked! He is the biggest little man alive. John Silver now stalking Sammy Callahan. Of course, John Silver, his first ever Beyond Wrestling main event in this very building going up against Michael Elgin at Midas Touch. Sammy Callahan might be looking to escape. Instead, just getting a little bit of separation and lured Silver in, caught him in the midsection with a sidekick. Ah! Oh. The less sound that makes, the more it hurts, folks. Let's just remember that. Absolutely, the ones that snap leave a welt in your chest, but the ones that thud can make it difficult to breathe. He's got him in his crosshairs. Ah, oh, too much time. Chop in the post. I hope they both double pump kick the post. That, the post is oh, really. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Damn, belly to back suplex. Shut up! Referee Steven Dubank giving him a lot of leeway. Yes! Let those middle fingers fly! If you're feeling it at home, just drop an F-bomb right now. It's all good. Call your grandma the C-word. Let's get this thing going. I don't know, Sammy Davidson. I don't necessarily trust these two. Maybe another belly to back on the floor. Whoa, Silver flipping out. Oh, a lot of tit for tat in this match, folks. Yeah. The little bitch battle showing just how evenly matched they are. Sammy a little bit bigger, so the not so little bitch. John Silver, uh, definitely stronger. I don't know if he's just precise with his kicks. He's a kickboxing instructor, he though. He is a kickboxer. So he must be pretty proficient his as a kicks, kickboxer himself. His kicks, I can tell you right now, they, they just change your life. There's JT getting involved. Oh, the referee's gonna eject this fool. Hey, Dumang, throw JT out. Now he wants a counter after arguing with the official for trying to restore order. Now Sammy Callahan wants to pick up a cheap victory. I bet you the moment Silver gets backed up to his feet, Sammy's gonna dive on him. Oh boy, was I wrong. JT is a real piece of crap. I'm surprised to see Sammy taking a shortcut. No, it's smart. It's a very smart strategy. He's not underestimating Silver. He's doing his best, so Silver gets in last second. I mean, I did think it was odd when Callahan requested if his manager could be present at ringside tonight, but I mean, does he really think that John Silver poses this much of a threat? Oh. Yes. He definitely thinks he does. I mean, and when you're on a roll like Sammy Callahan, to. when you're on a roll like Sammy Callahan, you can't lose. It's just how it is. Any, any loss, any loss can stop your momentum. Not just in, not just against a, one opponent, not just in one promotion. You can stop your momentum everywhere you compete. I think you need to realize that Sammy Callahan knows about this, and knows he knows that he, the reason he's getting so many wins isn't always just because of a nice, clean victory. There are things you have to do to get these victories that maybe. Most people wouldn't understand, but a guy like Sammy Callahan knows how to use them to his advantage, like countouts. Callahan's going in on him. Single leg. Beautiful submission here, really wrenching on both the hip and the ankle here. You gotta think he's gonna be trying to weaken him up for that stretch muffler now. Absolutely. Of course, with uh, John Silver's leg being a little bit shorter, Sammy can fly that much more torque. Really force the knee to bend in uncomfortable ways. Kicks him in the collarbone. It only takes 15 pounds of pressure to break that bone. I, I know. I'm so always so surprised that there aren't more collarbone injuries in wrestling. So scary to think about. Oh. Hey, brain buster! How much damage was done to the Raw Dog's knee, though? 
his leg is definitely shot. It's going to take a lot of balance on those. He bounces on that left foot to strike with his right, and I think that uh, Sammy also, again, aware of that, picking out that left leg so that John Silver cannot utilize those kicks as well, but I feel like he's still sizing him up for it. Might be signaling for big clothesline. Will the leg hold out? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, I think I think uh, Sammy's gonna feel that one. You hear the snap on that kick too. Damn, that guy hates Sammy Callahan. Raw Dog might be getting greedy. I'm speechless because you hear those kicks. <laughs> Sammy trying to get up to his feet. Oh, Sammy's smart though, veteran wherewithal. Oh man, what a combination. Lightning quick. Staggers him and then chins him right in the forearm. Uh oh. Going for that Batista bomb. Well, that's one of John Silver's trademark maneuvers. Back and forth, these two go. Both jockeying for position. I've got that jackknife. John Silver defeated both Chris Hero and Michael Elgin with that jackknife pin. Sammy Callahan, however, has countered it to a backslide attempt. Beautiful double bridge out of that to get from underneath him. John Silver is real hard to get lower than John Silver in this backside, which is what you need. You need to get your hips below John Silver's hips to successfully pull it off. As you can see, John Silver a little bit. Wow! Just snapping off that gory bomb. One, two, yeah, my original finisher was a gory bomb, fun fact. John it's a dangerous Silver, move. John Silver just exposing Sammy's chest and then driving him head and chest into the mat. A lesser well, man would have been down. If Sammy wrestled, what, like 15 times WrestleMania week? Easily. You obviously know he's very well conditioned. He's a cardio monster. And the only thing that you can really do is to try and target the chest to make it difficult for somebody like that to breathe. Oh! Skill of Sammy Callahan knowing to kick the leg out of John Silver. So simple, so effective. Uh-oh, Sammy sizing him up. He's moving. Uh-oh, this crowd better move or else they're going to catch a Sammy boot. Oh, pump kick to the ground. Oh, he's going for two. Calling for that second. Really taking his time, though. He's maybe taking too long on this one. Another big pump kick, huh? Deadlift German suplex. Sammy clipped his fingers, rolls through. Beautiful roll through. He saw John Silver protecting his head and left his back completely vulnerable. Oh. Sliding clothesline, that should take him out. Wow. Caught him right underneath the chin, knocking the head back. Could cause a concussion called a boxer's knockout. You know, sometimes it's not even just the impact of the clothesline, but the landing as well. So that happens if the head gets knocked, you knock down a little bit, your head hits the ground, and that's what causes that concussion. Very dangerous. Sammy knows exactly how to target that clothesline to catch him right under the chin. You wonder if he's gonna go try and go back to that stretch muffler if he's changed his uh, changed his strategy though. Thinking about the stretch muffler is if you can, if you get that out of nowhere, you can absolutely beat somebody with it. It doesn't matter. Setting up for the move is great, but if you don't get to do it as well as you necessary. want. Sammy, a wizard of sorts, yeah, finding well, a way to get his tape on the rope. Is this ring and also Sammy's wrist tape made out of magnets? I would, something like that, though. I mean, something like that, Dan. If that happened to you in a match, would that distract you? Yeah, and I think it just did. He took that extra second to notice a silly thing about the tape, and I think that's going to cost him I mean, him those here. are just the things that are just so no, weird and wonderful not. about pro wrestling. You don't know. Well, that's the thing, just so, especially here in Beyond Wrestling, the fans are ringside. Fans is one thing that catches you off guard. You will totally lose track of what's going on. Oh, 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 oh. I think Sammy Callan just lost track of what planet he's living on. I think he just lost track of some of his teeth also. Jesus. 
I can tell you from first hand experience, that kick hurts. You know, sometimes you see a pissing contest amongst competitors, see who's got more machismo this late in the game, but I mean, going back and forth with these pump kicks. That one could have knocked Sammy out. It could have, but it didn't. Look at him. Just a glancing blow that time. Oh, that, that one, one caught him. Three in a row. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Batista bomb. Can he hit it? Oh, Sammy's. Look at the way he's got his arms wrapped around the inside of the kneecaps. Oof. Tried to duck under it, but Sammy saw it and brought his elbow down. Almost at a 12 to 6. Jesus. Got him by the head. Two of the toughest competitors in Beyond Wrestling are literally kicking the crap out of each other. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Silver's out of control. Silver's on a frenzy right now. Oh, give me a break. Breaks up his momentum. This could be it, his butthole. Oh, man. He really stacked him off off that bottom rope, too. Damn. Uh -oh. Uses his own move uh -oh. against him, uh -oh. and as he kicks uh -oh. out, as he kicks out, he uses the momentum from the kick out to go into the stretch muffler. You will be hard pressed to find a better wrestler in the world than Sammy Callahan in 2017. Silver's got the inside leg. Second away. How many more of these kicks? Somebody threw a raw water bottle to the ring. Oh, thank God, Dumang Sarkis. Davidson straight up in the ring right now. Referee calling it off. <laughs> eat, eat it, JT. Batista eat bomb it. in a suit. Come on. Oh! Pass off fire is John Silver going for the Batista bomb on his own. Nailed it. He's got the feet on the. Yeah, the feet on the shoulders and everything, Dan. He's trying to hold him down. Oh, no. Oh, the good night. The punt. That is it. John Silver beats Sammy Callahan. Well, I'm going to thank you, Dan Barry, for helping out with commentary here tonight at Death Nail. Certainly, it's not beyond wrestling's death knell, but uh, certainly want to wish you a speedy recovery as well. And obviously, all the fans that are watching this, hopefully at youtube.com slash beyond demand. If not, picking up the DVD on Smart Mark Video. Hey, maybe we'll even throw this one up for free at youtube.com slash beyond wrestling for Dan Barry. This is DC, another big, another big win for John Silver, huh? How about this guy, the raw dog?